Welcome to the multimedia training capsule on the TKFF live fiber detector test set. The TKFF testing set has two pieces of equipment, the LFD 300 and the TG or tone generator 300. Let's have a quick look at the features on the panel of the LFD 300. The LFD 300 has a display for showing power levels. It has two traffic LEDs to indicate the traffic direction. It also has three modulation detection LEDs for 270 hertz, 1 kilohertz, and 2 kilohertz. There is also an LED to indicate when the uh, tone generation has been detected. There is an LED for the positioning mechanism and a final LED to indicate when the power has been turned on. Aside from the LEDs on the front panel, there are two other features. There is the clamp button, which is here at the bottom. And we have a light cap on top, which can be raised or lowered to keep ambient light in and out of the detector. If we have a quick look at the features of the Tone Generator 300, we will see almost the same features. Again, a panel to indicate power levels, traffic light indicators, a fiber modulation LED to indicate when the modulation has been activated or when the tone is being activated. Finally, the same LEDs positioning and power on as on the LFD 300. In the same respect, we also have the same clamping mechanism button down here and a light cap on top. So to get started with the equipment, we will first look at the LFD 300, the live fiber detector to be able to detect whether a fiber is live or not. So the first thing we will do is insert a fiber jumper into the LFD 300. So we start by opening the light cap here on top and taking our fiber under test. Now a trick to properly align the fiber inside of the LFD is to line it up inside of the grooves inside of the, uh, the LFD 300 and to pull down with our fingers on the sides like that to keep it in position. Then we can clamp the locking mechanism into place and finally close the light cap to eliminate any excess ambient light from being detected. Now, should a fiber not contain any traffic signal at all, we will get the low light level message. So in order to correct this, we're going to activate the light source. So I will turn my light source on to 1310 nanometers. and we will reactivate the LFD 300. Now we can see a traffic LED is indicating that the light is traveling towards the right and we have an approximate power level measurement in our display. Now we would like to point out that the level being displayed on the LFD 300 is only an approximation of the loss. The LFD 300 is not a substitute for an actual power meter. Now while we are clamping onto fibers containing live signal, there are a few things to pay attention to. One of them being that we do not want to clamp the fiber onto a part where it is covered in markings or labels or any kind of external covering on the fiber. Another thing to pay attention to is the thickness of the fiber. We will be unable to use this equipment with bare fibers that have less than 250 microns of diameter. Finally, there's the type of fiber that needs to be taken into consideration. 
regular patch cords or leads and bend resistant fibers will still work properly with the LFD 300. However, bend insensitive fibers and multi-mode fibers will not. We're now going to move on to the use of the Tone Generator 300 in conjunction with the LFD 300. So what we're going to do is again insert a fiber into the Tone Generator 300 and induce a generated tone So the fiber will position itself and then start the tone generation. And at the far end, we can now activate the LFD 300. And we can see by the display that the corresponding tone is being detected. Therefore, both units would be working on the very same fiber. Now the distance range of this test is unlimited. It all depends on how far the carrier signal can reach through the fiber. When we are using an LFD 250, the LFD 250 unit will not be able to detect uh, this tone generator. So that is a detail to mention. These are generation B units, the TG 300B and the LFD 300B. Their predecessors would take 30 seconds for the positioning mechanism to activate. These new units now synchronize and activate in less than six seconds. Let's look at a situation now where we encounter a fiber on which we do not know the direction of the traffic and we would like to properly put the tone generator and live fiber detector in the proper order. So the first thing that we do is we take the tone generator 300 and we clamp it onto this fiber. The traffic LEDs of the TG300 will indicate on which side we should put the LFD 300. We can now see that the TG300 has synchronized with the fiber and it is indicating that the traffic is moving from right to left. So the little arrow is telling us that we need to put the LFD300 on the left hand side of the tone generator 300. Now in order to ensure that the tone generator and the live fiber detector are working properly, we need to make sure that the tone generator is not being used on a fiber that is currently under stress. So for example, if the tone generator is hanging off of a fiber lead uh, that is in the patch panel, or if there's any kind of tension on the fiber whatsoever, this tension might cause the Tone Generator 300 to be unable to produce the tone that it needs to so that it can be recognized by the LFD 300.